So Raghu, yeah. what is essentially good health? Yeah, uh, good health is not just absence of disease. See, in, in, in the, you know, in the Indian philosophy, in mm -hmm. the Taittiriya Upanishad, they talk about the sheets of health and they, they say from Annamaya, you know, Annamaya means from the Correct. material, from what, including food, from Annamaya Kosha to Pranamaya, Jnanamaya, Vijnanamaya and Anandamaya. Right. Which means a blissful state, right. you know. So I, I would say that the, this, that is how the, also in the Taittiriya Upanishad they say Raso Vaisaha, which means the Lord is Rasa, you know, the enjoyment, the blissful state, the happiness. Correct. See, ultimately what, what the life is all about, I mean, to be happy. True. Isn't it? True. Of course, today's pursuit of happiness is a different thing. We'll have to, you know, be a little careful about that persuasion for happiness. Right. But typically in the Indian philosophical context, if you see, the knowing is being. Right. So, so it's not having, you know. So you, when you say you are happy, you are happy without being aware that you are happy. True. In True. that sense, you are happy. So uh, I would say that's why they say if you uh, those who have large number of cookery books they do not know cooking. <laughs> you know, uh, typically they say they, they also say which is the best shoe. They say the best shoe is one which you when you wear you do not know that you are wearing. wearing. Correct. Correct. So that's a kind of a state. So health, you know, it it, it might sound very abstract. Mm -hmm. It's not just absence of diseases. But you see, let's say you have a very good physique and body and all that, and you are depressed. Right. And you have, uh, you have, uh, uh, you know, undue worries for unwanted things. Okay. So that is also a problem. So I think, you know, it's, it's a question of, you know, see the, the, the oriental philosophy always talks about mind-body uh, connection and the organic link between them and, you know, the, your connections to the external world. So health, uh, um, you know, as I was saying, is, is a very, very all-encompassing, all-embracing aspect. It's not just, the, you may be individually very health, but you may be socially deprived. Okay. You may be uh, economically rich. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, you may be still poor. Okay. You see, you see, they always say about India, poor, rich India. Okay. What right? does yeah. that mean? That means that we are, we are basically a rich, resource-rich country. Okay. But being poor. Okay. So you, you can always be rich and yet be poor. Okay. So that, that that's why it is said that you know just the mere economic development or the 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 the, the progress and development as it is defined today may not deliver human health. Okay. You see, the, uh, the, if you look at the developed countries in terms of per capita income versus the happiest countries, mm -hmm. none of the uh, economically developed countries, high per capita income countries, okay. are uh, unfortunately, uh, they are not happy countries. The happy country is Costa Rica, happy country is Bhutan, happy country is some low income countries. Okay. So I'm saying, so uh, there is this, uh, you know, uh, when we talk about health, uh, today, you know, we, our, our aim should be to, for that kind of a blissful uh, state, to be a happy man, True. to be a happy True. man. You know, uh, somebody was asked, it seems, when he was eating food, why are you so, you know, concerned about eating? Why do you calculate everything and all that? Oh, what to do? I don't want to die. You know, so you don't eat any something for something. You know, you don't say that I don't know. I, I'm just eating because I don't want to die. Okay. Okay. Uh, rather than that, it should be that I eat, I'm healthy, and I know where my food comes from. I know where, how I'm connected to ecology and environment. So I said about this complex relationship, you know. Okay. And there's a lot more understanding today how you can be happy and all that. Like, in simple words, like Buddha said, you know, if you sleep on the floor, you will not fall out of bed. Correct. Yeah, very true. Yeah, so that is what is important because you see a uh, uh, lot of things that we today say that this will give you health, this will give you happiness, they may not deliver. Okay. They may not deliver health and happiness. Take for example, uh, now there is a drug uh, invented recently mm -hmm. to induce compassion in you. Oh. I mean you, you can't induce compassion in you. Okay. Yeah? And I understand there is also That's a drug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There is also a drug that you know if you are a, if you are shy of public speaking, okay. you take a small dose of it. Okay. Uh, then you become you know you 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 lose your shyness, but you may also become shameless. Shameless. <laughs> so this is other end of it. And you cannot you know medically intervene, technologically intervene and bring about health this way. Okay. Take for example obesity today. Obesity is a big problem. What are the kind of solutions that we offer today for right. obesity? Obesity is, you know, is the bedrock yeah, for know, other problems and all that. But then you see you, the solu solutions that we have. We now have a drug for uh, anorexia. I mean, you know, 
anorexia or binging. You okay. have a drug for binging because you eat too much and in order to stop eating, you have a drug, you have to take a drug. So we are controlling food exactly. uh, intake, not, yes. not the kind of food that we are eating. Yes. See, we should be more focused on, you know, the, the very food that we eat brings in satiety right. and satisfaction and it makes you stop eating because Correct. it is a fibrous, it is filling. Right. You see, you see the very food, very composition of the food, where the complex nature of the food can make you stop eating. Correct, correct. But because you eat junk, then you resort to other intervention programs. How do I stop eating? Should I pop a pill to stop eating? Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then you see, uh, for example, this obesity control mecha mechanism that we mm -hmm. have, to, bariatric surgeries, number of surgeries uh, to reduce the stomach size. Okay. And uh, or now I understand there is a clock as you keep eating, uh, you know, when you when you eat more then it will give you an alarm sound and you right. stop eating. So what kind of external interventions, technological interventions that you need to bring in in order to eat well? Okay. Yeah? So I would uh, say that uh, that the current health in the current health context, we have given very minimal importance to food. prevention, okay. food, you know, right. these socio, socio ecological issues. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So uh, you mean to say that, you know, we are concentrating more on uh, probably like, you know, curing the diseases rather than preventing it yeah. with right food and right ecology. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. See, I was the other day reading that uh, somebody says a big pharmaceutical company, they say we will keep in, you know, the R&D chief says keep inventing new drugs. Uh, then the guy comes and says, sir, but we don't have diseases. diseases. He says, no, no, you will get disease. Don't worry. You will find disease. If you don't, have, if you don't find one, we will define a non-disease as disease. Okay. And fit in the drug. Right. You see? So that is why I said this medicalized healthcare, I think the human society needs to be really careful about. Uh, because there are solutions beneath the nose. True. True. There are solutions in the kitchen. There are solutions in the backyard. There are solutions in the soil. There are solutions in the environment. There are solutions in the biodiversity. Right. A, there are solutions that our forefathers knew about. True. You see, so but today, you see, sometimes we need to be careful. We need science and technology. Mm -hmm. But on the other Maybe. hand, science shouldn't also become scientism. You know, okay. scientism is like Bernard Shaw saying that the science has become a new religion okay. where the the disinfectant is its holy water. Okay. See, that's a problem with that scientism. Also, we have a hope, you know, the, 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 what human beings are hoping from the science is to cure all the disease and ultimately conquer death. Okay. But I think we should accept uh, death, death a, as it is a natural, natural culmination of life and life's meaning comes from death and not to cure death, but to, you know, so you see, they, typically they say today you have health in spite of doctors. Right. See, typically the definition is like this, health is wealth. Correct. But they, they, that has been redefined that your health, health is doctor's is wealth. wealth. Okay. So uh, I would say that prevention, there are large number of preventive aspects. For example, take for example that uh, dietary fiber, for example. Okay. A simple dietary fiber can give you a healthy microbe, can absorb cholesterol in the uh, mm -hmm. you know the body. from the bile acids. It can absorb the cholesterol, and the fermentation of dietary fiber in your colon releases short chain fatty acids and it suppresses the biosynthesis of cholesterol. Okay. Look at the mechanism. So, but today the biggest drug that you have today is for cholesterol management. Okay. What a dietary fiber can do. Mm -hmm. How does a dietary fiber, that doesn't mean that you, you eat dietary fiber, but you don't remove the dietary fiber. Got it. Got it. See, it's like this. If you remove a fiber and sell it, it's a good economic activity. Correct. But if you don't remove, if you eat as it is, it does work. A removed fiber doesn't work like an embedded fiber. Right. For example, from rice, if you remove the rice polish and sell the rice polish and eat the rice polish, it may not work Correct. like the unremoved rice, rice uh, uh, the fiber in the rice. Right. So I'm saying there are large number of this kind of preventive health uh, aspects uh, that can really bring about change. But people are not, uh, I mean, the, the market is not interested in prevention because prevention doesn't give money to any economy. Right. So it's a sickness feeds economy. 
Got it. See, you know, sickness feeds economy. In fact, uh, if you if more people are sick, they seek, um, uh, they take drugs, they go to doctors, they they seek the healthcare system, and you know everything grows and the economy grows. So there is there is this. Some people today say that is there something fundamentally wrong in the matrix, you know, in the very measurement in our economics. So should you relook at how we measure wealth? So if you if people become sick and sell more drugs, economy grows, GDP grows. Correct. So we should relook at how we develop. I mean, define the very development and progress. <laughs>